Okay, hi everybody. I uh, just want to go over this one page of notes so that we all have them for class tomorrow. And I'm going to go kind of quick because I am cooking a big old bowl of spaghetti. And I got a dog staring at me right now. Let's see if I can get the dog on the screen. Is that my boy? Oh, he's upside down. Hi, buddy. How you doing? That's my Diego. Okay, isn't that wonderful? All right. So here we go. So we've been talking about standard equations of a parabola, what they look like when they are on the origin. But now we're going to look at uh, what happens when we move them off the origin. And so we're going to have our vertex at h comma k, which is the typical coordinates that we use for our vertex. Okay. So. We've got parabolas that open in the vertical direction, parabolas, once again, that open in the horizontal direction. And the equations are going to look very uh, similar. If you remember, the previous equation was y equals 1 over 4px squared. This was if it was on the origin. Okay, so uh, h is 0 and k is 0. So very similar, though, if we move this thing off the origin, our equation changes just a little bit. And so it's going to be y equals 1 over 4p. And then we're going to have, instead of x squared, we're going to have x minus h squared, and then plus k. Now think of what that means. What that means. Translations. Here it's going to be moving left and right, our h once again, taken uh, and uh, added and subtracted directly to our x variable on the inside. And we're moving it up or down, so that's our k. So very similar to transformations. The focus, the focus also changes, kind of like the focus that I just did on that screen there. Let's see, does light help? Eh, a little bit. All right, the new focus is going to be h comma k plus p. So it looks like that. The new directrix is y equals k minus p. So remember it used to just be uh, minus p, now we're going to have k minus p. Uh, let's try with lights off. I think that looks a little better to me at least. All right, what does the graph look like? The graph, if p is greater than zero, the thing you have to remember if p is greater than zero is that it's going to open upward. So we've got our vertex right here. And we've got our parabola right there. So that's our vertex, which has coordinates of hk. We have our focus, which is going to have coordinates of h comma k plus p. And then down here on the opposite side, we've got our directrix, which, whoops, let me get that out of your way. Directrix is y equals k minus p. So that's the general shape right there. The cool thing about all these formulas is if you can figure out the vertex, we know to get the focus that we can count this distance to get the focus and we can count this distance to get the directrix. So if all of these equations seem a little confusing to you, then uh, it's okay. Um, just keep, kind of keep in mind once we can find our vertex and the p-value like we did with the standard form, we can go ahead and um, just simply count distances to get uh, this, and our, our focus, and our, our directrix. All right? All right, so kind of jumped ahead on that a little bit. So what's it look like if P is less than zero? If P is less than zero, we know it's going to go downward like that. And so we've got our vertex is at H comma K. And we've got our focus inside. And that's going to be H and then comma K plus P. Those are our coordinates. Our directrix comes up along there. there. There, now you can see it. And it has a general form of the equation of k minus p. All right, so that's if it opens up or down. Key thing is, if it opens up or down, it's got this form right here, y equals something. Okay? Once we figure out uh, what all these numbers are, particularly we find the p-value, uh, and the vertex, we can just do our count, do counting to find everything else. All right, so that's vertical. Let's look at horizontal. So horizontal, if you remember, if it was at the origin, it was x equals 1 over 4py squared. So it's going to have a similar format. 
So let's go x equals, it's going to be 1 over 4p once again. Here, though, we're going to have y minus k, the quantity squared, plus h. And a key thing that you got to remember is this number in here, it's attached to the y, is actually our k value. Because remember, k is up and down. Our focus is going to be whatever h is, plus p, and then our k value. Our directrix is going to be x equals h minus p. And what does it look like? If p is greater than 0, this is going to open up to the right. That's the key thing. You've got this equation right here. We'll be able to figure out what p is. We'll be able to figure out what our vertex is, h comma k, which is right there. And then to figure out what this focus is, we're just going to count over once we get that p value. And it has a general form of h plus p as your x-coordinate and k for your y-coordinate. And then our directrix kind of comes out here. And that has coordinates of x equals h minus p. The other key thing to remember, if p is less than 0, what do we got? All right, this one will open to the left, like so. So once again, our vertex is h comma k. Our focus goes on the inside. How do we find that? h plus p comma k. Once again, we can just count. Directrix is x equals h minus p. All right, that seems like a lot. The key thing to remember, if you can recognize the type of equation, you'll notice it, you'll know it opens up or down, or this equation over here opens left or right based off the p value. And so um, what we're going to uh, look at is how to figure those things out. So typically by just looking at a graph and basically counting the distance between the focus and the vertex as well as figuring out what the vertex is. Okay, I got to get back to my spaghetti. More than a bowl, it's a big old pot of spaghetti that's boiling over right now. And my pretty little doggy, Diego. <laughs>